Welcome to the Air Swimmers Assembly video. Congratulations on your purchase of an Air Swimmer, the insanely fun, fully maneuverable remote control flying fish. This video will take you step by step through the easy assembly process so you can get your Air Swimmer flying in no time at all. Firstly, please read the full instructions and warnings in the enclosed manual prior to assembly. This will help avoid damage or injury and help you to operate your air swimmer correctly. This product will require two people for assembly and must be completed with adult supervision only. You should only assemble and use your air swimmer indoors. Inside your air swimmer box you will find the following. One air swimmer balloon. One remote control. One pod track. One tail fin two underbelly fins, one tail motor unit with foam spacer, one ribbon, four elastic bands, four fastening clips, one dorsal fin, one AAA and one 9-volt battery, four hooks, 18 clear tape tabs, 12 double-sided sticky pads, one putty. You will also require a small crosshead screwdriver. If you have the radio controlled version, your air swimmer pod track will have an attached wire cable and your controller will have an antenna. Before you can fly your air swimmer, you need to fill it with helium. This can be done at most good party shops or florists, but please call ahead before visiting. You can also buy your own helium tank that will allow you to fill your air swimmer at home. To fill your air swimmer, lay it on a flat surface with the valve pointing toward you. At this point, you can tie the supplied ribbon from your air swimmer to the tag on the packaging to stop it from floating away as you begin to fill it with helium. Open up the valve and insert the nozzle of the helium tank. Then release the helium slowly so that the balloon gradually inflates. When your air swimmer is full and firm to the touch, just remove the nozzle and the valve will seal itself. The balloon will rise very rapidly when you begin filling it with helium, so make sure the ribbon is secured tightly. Please be aware that it is dangerous to inhale helium, so make sure you only use in a well-ventilated area and consult any instruction manuals provided. Do not overinflate the balloon and do not use any gas other than helium. After a few days, you may find that your air swimmer may lose some of its buoyancy. This is normal with helium products, therefore you will need to top up the balloon on a regular basis. After several top-ups of your air swimmer, the helium inside the balloon may become mixed with oxygen. If you find it does not fly as well when fully inflated, you will need to deflate and refill the balloon with fresh helium. Once your air swimmer is inflated, you need to attach all the sticky pads. Peel each sticky pad from the sheet and place one onto each of the fin and hook attachments. Repeat for the pod track. Make sure the backing sheet stays attached so that the pieces do not accidentally stick to anything until you are ready. The next step is to attach the pod track to your air swimmer. Before doing this, make sure you have inserted one AAA battery into the pod. You will need a small crosshead screwdriver to unscrew the battery cover. Once you have inserted the battery, be sure to close the cover using the crosshead screwdriver. Place the inflated air swimmer upside down onto a table ready to attach the pod track. 
Using the double-sided sticky pads, attach the pod track to the underside of the balloon. It will help to have another person hold the balloon for you. The end of the pod track needs to sit at the position marked 2 on the balloon. Make sure you keep the track straight, as if it curves too much, the pod will not move freely along the track. You now need to place clear tape over the track tabs to keep them secure. When applying the clear tape, be careful not to cover the pod track as it may prevent the pod from moving smoothly down the track. The next step is to attach the four hooks around the back of your air swimmer. These will be used to hold the tail motor unit on. Peel off the backing on the sticky pad now attached to the hook and stick it onto the area of the balloon marked Place Hook Here. Repeat for all four hooks. It is important to make sure the hooks are facing towards the head of your air swimmer. Finally, secure all hooks with the clear tape provided. Attach the tail fin to the tail motor unit by slotting the rods into the fin assembly arms. The rods should line up with the groove in the arms, and the ends should sit comfortably in the gap at the end of the fin assembly arms. The fastening clips should be used at the top and bottom of the assembly arms to secure the rods in place. To connect the tail motor unit to your air swimmer, use the four elastic bands to attach the hooks on your air swimmer to the hooks on the fin assembly. The foam spacer needs to sit between the tail motor unit and the balloon. Make sure the tail is lined up vertically with the fish and the plug connection on the tail motor unit is facing down. Loop the electrical cable from the pod track through the cable hoops underneath the balloon and plug it into the tail motor. When attaching the cable to the tail motor, be sure to check that the fitting isn't loose, as this may cause the tail fin not to function properly and will affect your flight. Hold the fin and remove the backing from the now attached sticky pad, then simply stick each fin to the marked areas on the balloon. Repeat for the three positions, two on the shark's underbelly and one on the top. Once all of the fins have been attached to your air swimmer, apply the clear tape over each of the tabs to keep them secure. Your air swimmer is now fully assembled. The next step is to weight your air swimmer so it floats without drifting to the ceiling or falling to the floor. With your hand, gently move the pod on its track to the central position. Then take the included putty and add this to the pod mouth until your air swimmer neither rises nor falls. If your air swimmer starts to descend, then you need to remove some of the putty. And if your air swimmer floats upwards, then you need to add more putty. Air swimmers are only intended for flying indoors, and you should be sure to avoid electric fans, lamps, candles, and open fires. Please also ensure you have turned off any air conditioning before you begin to fly your air swimmer, as this will affect its flight. Put the batteries included into the remote control. Turn the power switch on the pod to the on position and you will see a red light appear. To make your air swimmer move upward, the pod must move backward along the track. 
To do this, you need to press down on the remote and the nose of your air swimmer will begin to point upwards. This will feel unnatural at first as you are pressing down to move upward, but you will soon get the hang of it. To move your air swimmer downward, the pod must move forward along the track, so you need to press up on the remote. Then, just swim your air swimmer forward using the tail control. Your air swimmer flies by moving the tail from side to side in a constant rhythm. To move the tail to the left, press left on the remote. To move the tail to the right, press right on the remote. Move the tail left and right alternately to begin the swimming motion and your air swimmer will move forward. Try experimenting with faster and slower rhythms to find the most suitable speed for you. There are two ways you can turn your air swimmer. If you wish to make a slower but sharper turn, simply press and hold the directional button corresponding to the way you want to turn. This will lock the tail and your air swimmer will slowly float round in the chosen direction. The second way to turn uses a more realistic swimming motion as you need to vary the left and right rhythm of the tail. For instance, if you wish to turn left, you need to press the left button for longer than the right. Try varying the rhythm to see how this affects the speed and angle of the turn. When you have finished flying your air swimmer, just turn the power switch on the pod to the off position. There are then two ways you can dock your air swimmer. The first is to retie the ribbon from the balloon to the packaging. An easier method is to use the hook found inside the remote to weigh down your air swimmer. Simply attach this hook over one of the hoops and store your air swimmer ready for its next flight. To deflate your air swimmer for storage, you will need to use a thin drinking straw like this one. Slide the straw into the valve of your air swimmer and slowly press on the balloon until empty of helium. You can place a blanket over your air swimmer to apply gentle pressure. Deflating may take several minutes to complete fully. When all the helium has been removed, fold the balloon carefully for storage. Do not inhale any of the helium during this process. Thanks for watching this video on how to assemble your air swimmer. Now the most important thing for you to remember is to have fun.